Out of all the lead gen methods, cold email outreach is by far one of the most powerful, effective, and one of my favorite methods to get eyeballs to your product and services. However, if you don't do this correctly, sooner or later, your carefully handcrafted email will end up landing in other spam folder or junk mail. This is why an email warm up tool is super critical and important to ensure all your emails land on the primary inbox of your prospects. In this video, I'll show you a must have email warm-up tool that will increase and maximize your code outreach deliverability. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it. If you're here for the first time, my name is Tariel. On this channel, we talk about everything you need to know to run a profitable online business adventure. Also, this is the first of many series on outreach and lead gen methods. If this is something that interests you, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop some likes and some comments to boost YouTube algorithm. And last but not least, I'm currently building a brand new masterclass that teaches you how to properly and massively generate leads online. And the process includes scraping Google map data and using Google Sheets to outreach to your potential clients or prospects. So if you want to learn it from A to Z, I'm currently opening a waiting list for a test group. Once we have a 10 members joined, I'll host this online masterclass so you can acquire the knowledge and skills to scale your online business adventure. All right, right before we get into the good stuff, how to use this email warm up tool, I want to show you a little bit on why we want to warm up our email. So there's lots of email service providers out there, right? you can't just grab a brand new email address and start to massively send out emails. And on top of that, there's lots of measurements and metrics in place. If you're massively sent out email and a lot of them are having a hard bounce, that's a clear indicator for spam filter to mark your email as a spam. Your email will land in others spam folder. So that is why we want to warm up our email. And secondly, let's quickly talk about how this email warm up tool works. You want to plug your email into a network of of emails and it's basically sending email back and forth and these are automated process you don't have to do them manually it's just doing this in the background maybe you send out a hundred emails a day and 50 of those emails are having a back and forth conversation this is a human-like behavior a lot of email service providers want to see and this tool I'm gonna to talk about today is called a box word there are many different warm-up tools out there and a the box word has been one of my favorite ones for the following reason the user in interface is much more powerful and you can customize a lot of the settings. And now I want to show you guys some of the results I got with the box word. This is basically monitoring two weeks performance of one of the emails. You can see that around November 7th and the email started to land in the spam folder. The red one means it's landing in the spam folder. There's lots of different reasons for this. It could be the email volume is a little bit too high. It could be the content of the email body or certain keywords is being marked as a spam and also could be the domain or the IP address is being blacklisted. That's why you can see here the red one since November 7th and 8th, a lot of the emails started to go into spam folder. However, around November 13th and 14th, I plugged in the box word and I turned on something called a rehab mode. I'm going to touch on just in a moment. Old emails started to go back to the email inbox. You can see there's no more red one, which means it's a spam, right? And here is a second example. This is another email inbox in the same period of time. Because this email is sending a lot of newsletters and email marketing, the tendency of this email are going into the category box. Again, remember a lot of the Gmails, they have a category inbox such as social newsletters or advertising and stuff like that so you can see here in this entire period majority you can see 70 to 80 percent of the 50 emails every day is going into the category folder however again i plugged into box word rehab mode around 13th and 14th of November, just within two to three days after turning on the rehab mode on box word, all emails started to land back into the email inbox. That's a really important and the performance and the results are quite impressive. 
And now in this next segment, I want to show you in and out how to use a box word and some of the features it comes with and should you get it and the pros and cons of it. And we're going to cover it all. They're packed with amazing, unique features. They have a three to four different modes we're going to talk about and they have a real time deliverability monitoring. You can see how your emails are being performed and sent out. And from there, their message is unique and personalized email. In terms of the cost, they're currently running a lifetime $49 for five different email accounts. This is going to end within the next month or two. And after that, it's going to cost $9 per month for one email inbox, one email account. And you can see it sends up to 100 email a day. Some of the email warm up to I've tried before, they also charge $9, but they only send a maximum of 50 emails a day. So you can see box word sends twice more. And from there, automated warm up. And for this lifetime deal, we have a five different warm up routine teens and you can connect any inbox you can remove inbox if you want to you can pause inbox and so forth and from there we have a spam correction meaning if your email is landed in the spam folder it's going to automatically drag the email out and put it back into the email inbox because that's a really good indicator for again email service provider that this email is legit and it's important and necessary if you decided to try it out the link is in the description below and again nine dollars per month to get you some of these results it's quite impressive and you got nothing to lose and now with that being said let's log into our box word dashboard i want to show you guys in and out on some of these settings it's quite straightforward nothing really complicated the only thing you need to do is to connect your email address to box word so first one here we have a toggle to turn it on and off so whenever you want to turn off the warm-up feature you decided to give it a pause or give it a break you can totally just turn this off by one click. First thing you want to do is you want to click on the connect email button on the top left corner. And from there, you want to choose the email that you use. One of the most popular email service providers are Google and Microsoft. And probably a lot of you are going to use one of these two. And based on my own research, Microsoft has a way higher deliverability on average than Google. So from there, all you need to do is click on one of these. You're going to pick either workspace or personal gmail if you want to do marketing outreach campaign or cold email outreach i recommend you to not use your personal email because once you're being marked it's really hard to bring that email back because you can't just use your personal email to do massive outreach and here are three easy steps to get your email connected with a box word number one you want to ensure you have a two-factor authentication turned on apparently if you don't turn this on you are not allowed to create a password this app password is not your email password do not enter your email password here basically we're going to log into our g suite or workspace we're going to generate an app password and enter it here again how you turn on two-factor authentication is basically click on this link right here it should direct you to your google account page under the fourth option security you can see here is a signing into google we have a two-step verification or two-step authentication you can see there's different methods i use for two-step verification i personally strongly recommend you guys to try out something called the security key or ub key i've done a full detailed review it's sitting on my main channel i'm going to leave the link in the description below so any one of these will work as long as you have a minimum one two step verification turned on you're good to go so once you have your two fa turned on you want to move on to the second step which is create an app password inside of your google workspace you simply click on this link right here it should redirect you to this page which is google account app password so on this page you can see i already created one called a box word email warm-up so all you need to do is click on one of these drop down you want to select an app first which is custom name and from there you can see you can basically copy exactly what is written here and you give it a paste which is called the email warm-up or you can do what i did basically add one more word box word email warm-up just for your future self to not get confused of what email warm-up mean once you put a name here you want to hit generate it will generate a string of password or code you want to grab that code or screenshot that code and you want to come back to this page here you want to enter your email you want to enter the app password again 
this app password is not your email password. Don't enter it here. This is a brand new app password we generated from a Google account. Once your email is being connected to BoxWord, it should prompt you to the setting page. On the setting page, you basically want to enter your first name, last name, company, position, industry, time zone. And last but not least, if any error happens, you want to have an admin email to notify you what happened to this email inbox, right? And from there, what Box Word is going to do is going to grab this value of this field and automatically create a personalized and dynamic email and send in between the network emails. Once you're done with that, it should prompt you back to overview window. So overview window here is basically a brief overview and you can select the time frame and the provider and so forth. You can see how many emails being sent out. So overall, it's sent around 2,600. 651 emails. You have how many email received, how many conversations being generated in here on average is 44% of the email is having a conversation. Basically what that means is once you send out an email, that person replies you back. Today, 100% email land in the email inbox and overall on average, is lifetime is 99%, which is pretty good. And from there, we have a category box, which is 0% and spam, we have a 0%. And from here, we have a quick graph to show you how many emails being sent out and what each line and color means. Towards the middle, you can see here in the box word network, there are a whole bunch of different email service providers and it will track you individually to see how is your email being performed to Microsoft inbox? How about Zoho? How about other inbox or how about the Google inbox so you can have a glance to see how your email is performing and at the bottom we have email status SPF and DKIM. This is a little bit technical terms and I'm going to get into it in the future lessons and drop some comments if you're interested in specific subject. Basically, it's a string of code. You want to go back to your domain DNS. You want to insert it there. And next feature I want to show you guys is called a warm up. It's the second one on top. This is really important. First and foremost, the first toggle, you want to make sure the warming feature is active. From there, we'll have a warm up routine. In this case, we have a four plus one different features. So we have auto feature, maintain, distress, and rehab, and last but not least is custom. Right below this drop down, you can see a line of description. Choose auto for a newly created email. If your email is already being back and forth, has a history record, then you might want to choose maintain. If your email has been seen recently dropped in open rate, if you click on distress, you can see that it started to crank up some of this volume and schedule, right? And last but not least, if your email has been marked as a spam or blacklisted, you want to turn on the rehab mode. Look at what happens if I turn on rehab mode, it will basically increase the volume as well as conversation because conversation is a clear indication for ESP, email service provider, that your emails are important and people are having conversation back and forth. And last but not least, we have a custom mode. You can tweak these parameters yourself. And the third feature button here is called a history. You can give that a click. You can see here's all the conversation that's been engaged in the network. And then from there, you can click on send. Here's all the email that's being sent out from one email inbox to all these email inbox. And from there, we'll have a receive, meaning how many emails are being received from other inbox in the network to this specific email inbox. The reason I like box word is because number one, you have a cool control on some of these settings, right? And secondly, they have a four different modes. Some of these modes I've never seen from any other warm up email tool. A few less cups of coffee per month gonna get you the maximized deliverability and open rate of your email personally sign me up. If you think about it, lead gen is a blood to a business. All business kind of look for leads, right? If you ask anyone that runs a business, who doesn't want leads every single day pouring into their inbox? As I mentioned before, cold email outreach is one of the free and the most powerful tool that's underrated that's going to get you a lot of good lead gen results. Some of the cold email campaigns we've sent out can have as high as a 65 to 75 percent open rate. That's unbelievable. Think about email marketing. Majority of the email marketing, the average open rate we're talking about 
two to three to five percent. If your email is super relevant, that could be up to 10 to 15, but nothing like 50% plus. With a cold email outreach, you can totally get that result. And that's a wrap up of this brand new box word email warm up to review. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop some comments and some likes. I personally read through every single one of my comments and I do my very best to reply them. And also check out the links in the description below. And keep that in mind, I'm currently opening a waiting list as a test group for my brand new script and outreach masterclass. So in this class, you're going to learn A to Z on how to script data and do proper outreach and send out dynamic emails. With a warm up tool, you're going to get maximized efficiency and results on your lead gen operations. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.